Hello everyone, this is Shadow Mario 41 and welcome back to Let's Play Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. We are now ready to tackle Peach's Invitational and we will be doing it with Waluigi. Alright, the Mario spin-off character. Here we go. Now, we are going to the tournament and we are going to Peach's Invitational. This course is insane. As I showed you in the at the end of the last tournament. Uh, we are going to have our work cut out for us here. So, let's do it. <laughs> what can be said about Peach's Invitational? Anyone who's played this before already knows, but this course has some really crazy conditions. Um, I'm not talking like wind conditions or crazy courses, but look at this. We have warp pipes, we have fountains, we have flowers. We have just ridiculous things, and it'll get even more ridiculous as we go on. Okay, so here we are with Waluigi, the main man. Power shot can't quite reach up there, so we're going to have to settle over here. Now, we could aim for this warp pipe. And uh, if we get in the warp pipe, it'll actually teleport the ball. Or not teleport, but transport the ball to the same pipe of the... Or to the other pipe of the same color, rather. So that we will find uh, yellow, green, and blue warp pipes. There's a blue one over there if you want to aim over there. That comes into play for something that we're going to do later, and I'm sure most of you already know what that is. But anyway, let us make our first tee shot. Now, every shot in this course is critical because it's so easy to mess up. This course is so easy to get a bad hole, and a bad hole can bring down your whole tournament score. So you really have to take every, every shot very seriously. And we are hitting it right there. I guess right there, let's do a power shot so we can reach. That looks good. I also really like the music in this this course. It's obviously a remix of Super Mario 64 music. And Super Mario 64 is, as you might know, one of my favorite Mario games. And now we have quite a difficult birdie putt here. Let's see if we can make this. I think we can. I think I can. You're not doing anything, you're just watching. You're just watching me suffer through this course. Okay, let's let's go right there. That should be good. Ah, uh, all right. How about that? Let's try that. Come on, get in. Ah, oh, I knew I should have moved it over a little more. Ah, oh, well. What are you gonna do? I'll get a nice par to start things off. I mean, not exactly the way I wanted to start off this course, but. Hey, and I also realized I haven't been showing the character animations. I've been skipping all of those accidentally, so I'll make sure to show those now when I get new animations, like that with the par animation. I'm sure I'll get a birdie, but I might want to line up my shot before I just blindly swing. There we go. We're going to go right there. Now, this course has chain chomps. Chain chomps, if you hit it anywhere into the chain chomps little pit there, and if it ball comes to rest there, then it counts as an OB. You can, in a very lucky situation, bounce off that, because it counts as rock, really, and then bounce out of it. But I would not recommend trying that, because that's just stupid. So let's start things off with a nice shot that just misses that tree, but that's good. That's actually exactly where I wanted it, so I'm pretty happy about that. That looks good again. Come on, on the green. Ooh, that looks really good. Ah, uh, bad bounce. Come on. Come on, game. Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> now it's a more appropriate time to do that impression. Get in. Chip in. Yeah, chip in. Wow, that was a pretty bad angle. Let's see a replay. Let's see another replay. Here we go. This is the angle I wanted. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Chip in, nice birdie. And there's Waluigi's birdie animation. Yeah, pump those fists. So Waluigi is a very crazy character. Well, let me look at the scoreboard while I'm here, before I forget. Okay, we have all our usuals. Bullet Bill, I don't know how a Bullet Bill can play. Golf, Machan, Angelo, Iron Belly, uh, Carl, Pff, that's boring. Leroy, Leroy Jenkins. Coconuts, and that's about it. Real Peach, as opposed to the fake one, maybe? I don't know. And there's a scorecard so far. You know I have to do that in every in every course. Now this one we have a little R Mount Rushmore ripoff of the Mario cast, which I think is pretty cool. Although this course is really hard because the 
the, um, what am I trying to say? It's a very high elevation. You have to hit it up onto this cliff here. And if you have a character with very low trajectory, oftentimes you cannot get a very good shot. So I'm going to hit the ball, hit the bottom of the ball here to angle it up. And hopefully that'll help me out a little bit. Let's see how that, that ends up. I put a backspin, although maybe I shouldn't have. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't have. But I didn't want the ball to bounce like too much. Let's see how this putt looks. Okay, that's really not too bad. I should just be able to go straight on with that one. Or maybe a little bit to the left. Like that. Oh, maybe a little more. Like that. Ah, that might be too hard. Crap. Ah, yeah, that didn't work. Oh, well, I'll set off a par once again. Let's not miss this par putt. That would be embarrassing. I think that would be more embarrassing than the whole Shifting Sands incident if I missed that par putt. Um, anyway, um, it might look like we're a little behind now, but in the, in the end here, if, as long as we maintain above par, as long as we maintain our score above even, uh, we should be okay. Now here is a very interesting hole. If you have favorable wind conditions um, and you're not using a star character, you can usually reach this pipe. A star character can almost always reach that pipe, but we can't because the wind's only two miles an hour and that kind of sucks. But yeah, using that pipe would give us a really nice drive. I think I'm going to try to aim for it anyway. This might be a bad idea, but let's see what this does for us. Oh crap, that accuracy. Well, hopefully it doesn't... Okay, that, you know what? That'll work out. I, I, as long as it didn't come to rest like right in front of the pipe, because that would have sucked. And now we have to curve... Oh jeez, that's not good. We have to curve around this giant mushroom. Uh, mushrooms, you can hit mushrooms and you can bounce off of them. Uh, they act kind of like, I don't know, I don't want to say kind of like springs, but you bounce off of them really far and they can really screw up your shots. So you definitely want to avoid mushrooms. Probably the only Mario game in which you want to avoid mushrooms, but that's besides the point. Let's see how that comes out. That looks pretty good. It looked pretty good on the, on the thing. Hit the fast fairway so get a little extra boost. Wow, look at that. That was beautiful. That was wonderful. Now this is another crazy shot going on to a little island here. We'll have a lot of these. Don't worry. There'll be plenty of ridiculous shots that we have to make in this hole. Ah, crap. Please reach. Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Phew. I thought that wasn't going to reach. You know what? I can live with that. I can actually putt from there. Why am I even chipping? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna putt from the rough because that's what we do in Mario Golf. We putt from the rough. Oh yeah, putt from the rough and for birdie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Waluigi. <laughs> I mean, Waluigi's a pretty good character. I mean, he was created specifically for spin-offs. I mean, his first game was Mario Tennis N64. I'm not even sure if he was in the Game Boy Color one. I'm pretty sure it was, though. Oh, we have rain here. That sucks. Puts a damper on this hole, huh? Look at how dark it is. That's, that's depressing. But he, I have to say, he's one of... I wouldn't say one of my favorite characters, but, you know, he has his own little unique personality to him, despite not being in any of the mainstream games. And I think only Nintendo could give a character personality without actually being in any real games, but that's besides the point. Let's see how that comes out. So yeah, Waluigi, he's a pretty cool guy. I mean, there's a lot of Mario spin-off characters that I like a lot less than Waluigi. Although I am glad um, he didn't become too much of a Mario staple. Like, he wasn't a playable character in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Which I think would have been a little... You know... I'm not really sure what the word is, but... It would have ripped off other characters who, you know, deserved it a little more. But enough of my ranting, that's not going to reach because of the rain. <laughs> because I totally ranted through that and I wasn't paying attention. Hopefully this will. Yeah, we're in for par. That's fine. That's fine. So, but I'm glad he was an assist trophy. I thought an assist trophy was like his perfect role in Brawl because, you know, there was nothing... Assist trophy, it's more than just being like a trophy, just being like a stand-in. But, you know, he was actually part of the game, and he is kind of a major character in the Mario universe, despite, like I said, not being in any of the main games. But there are so many Mario sports games, it's like, how can you ignore him, you know? Okay, let's see how this comes out. 
Uh, this is another crazy par 3. This par 3 can really throw you for a loop, too, if you screw up the tee shot. That's a nice on. Because, uh, let's let's get a view. See, you're, you're hitting it on that mushroom island there. But if you miss, or if you hit that fast fairway patch, um, it can send you into the water, and that sucks. Especially on a par 3. You don't want to end up with that on a par 3. This is a really easy putt. That should go in no problemo. And it actually did this time. I didn't jinx myself. What a surprise. And we're getting ever closer to our 50 best badges mark. That's pretty good. And we're at 3 under. That's also pretty good.